Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Crash Bandicoot 2, and this is part 8. We will now tackle, or excuse me, tackle levels 9 and 10. Let's start off with 9 and level 9, Crash Crash. And this is another running away from a boulder level. But this one is probably a little bit easier than a Crash Crash. But, but still, if I die on here a couple of times, please bear with me. It's just that some of these uh, boulder levels can be kind of tough sometimes. I don't see why the point. I don't see the point of putting the bouncy crates on here. It's like you're not gonna have enough time to bounce on them anyway. While you got boulders trying to squash you, so I don't see a point. Uh, <laughs> accidentally hit the mine. But thank you, thank goodness they don't, they don't kill you. Okay, now, here's a little uh, backwards area that you're going to need to go to to uh, get the, uh, the blocks. You know. I'm really starting to hate these electric fences. Okay, cool. Sorry guys, I just don't really like those electric fences so much. Round. Now, you can't really see them, but they're actually one of fruit under here. Uh, not under this one, but under this one. You can't really see it. Uh, I really miss this kind of music. Back when Naughty Dog was making these games. Cause this is where this is one of uh, Naughty Dog's best work. Belly flop. Now this part's gonna be kind of tough. Cause there's a belly flopping crate here in a little bit. There's gonna be a belly flopping crate here in a little bit. Right here. Now after you get that, you're gonna have to go fast. Okay, I don't know how that happened. It's probably like a little glitch or something, but but still I have no idea how that happened. Because there was no death pit right there. The death pit was on the other side. For goodness gracious. For goodness sake, the, the death trap was on the other side. Maybe I should get this crate first. Up, 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 up. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Yeah. That's the hard part right there. I just don't like how they put... Uh, Hard parts at the end of the uh, uh, boulder levels are running away levels are... I don't know how to put them. I guess we can put, say, going south levels. Well, that's the end of level 9, Crash Crush. The Crash Crush is done. Did a signature dance. Shut up, Polar. 
And now we will go into level 10, the eel deal. And this, my friends, all you YouTubers out there, is the first sewer level. I really like these levels. I just like uh, how the music just uh, sums it up. I just like how the music sums it up a lot. Now, if you ever walk across the uh, sewer like this, pay attention to the upper right. Like, you see that eel right there? I will I'll point out the eel if you can't really see because it's through the camera. But if you pay attention and see that eel, that means it's going to try to uh, electrify the uh, liquid here. So you just got to pay attention to the eel. I don't really like those lamps. Or, or lamps? What am I talking about? I don't like those fans. Ah, I hit the uh, crate. There is like a mutated mouse sort of thing. There's another, another eel. Oh, oops. Going on the wrong way at the fork. Oh, whenever you reach this fork, make sure you go to the right. This will take you to the green gem. And if you don't see it, yeah, I've already seen it, but if you go back behind here, there's a secret path. And this path leads to the green gem. So now we just gotta jump on these. Just wait until the eel gets done electrifying. And here we are, here's the green gem. Our third colored gem. Now, for safety purposes, wait until he's done electrifying. That was close. Stupid barrel. Now, just walk back, back here, but I'd advise you to stick to the left, so that way you don't touch these nitros whenever you come out. And now, just take it easy coming back from here. Okay, cool. Now we get to go to the left. Jump the barrel. Or these mutated mice again. And another mouse and a bonus round. Heads black. Ouch. Yeah, sorry guys for humming this music, but this is some of the music that I really, really missed. It's just so great. Such great music. Now, if you go to the left side of this fork, you'll find a crystal plus some more, some more crates. And there's nothing back behind there, so don't worry about that. Now, if you go to the right side, there's another... Whoa, I almost got hit by that barrel. This will just uh, take you... Uh, uh, deeper into the level. Uh, I was trying to get a triple kill there. Stupid mouse. Now, make sure you get these crates before you jump down that hole. Of course. Is that, you know, there's nothing back behind here. I'll, I'll, I'll stop that. I'll stop that. But if you just want to make sure, I, I can do that. Now, if we go down here, now we have to do a little, do a little monkey act. Jumping on these pipes. Now, this part can be kind of annoying because of that thing right there. But if you press circle, he can uh, do like that little monkey act. Monkey act can just uh, be like a sloth a little bit. That'll help you uh, uh, not get touched by, by these things right here. It'll help you not get touched by those, by those things right there. 
Jump over them, and we reach the end of the level plus the box gym. We have completed the five level levels six through ten on this part of the warp room, and now we will be uh, having another conversation with Cortex, I believe, before we take on the second boss. Oh yeah, now the conversation with Cortex before we go into the boss. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You are no way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between wolf rooms. Remember, I am That's BS, Cortex. But I'll take it for now. Alright, so I'm going to save here and cut off uh, part 8, before we go to part 9, which is uh, boss number 2. Alright, so that's part 8, uh, we tackled levels 9 and 10. Part 9, we will go into the second boss, like I explained earlier. So, hope you guys enjoyed part 8, take it easy.